knowing what Antonio, what I know of Antonio, it's unlikely he's going to come in here and make some sort of heavy scientific debate with Red. Can either of you explain the difference between centripetal and centrifugal force, please? Now, you both heard my question about centrifugal and centripetal force, did you yeah. not? Right. Correct. Yes. Which of you would care to describe these two forces to the people listening? Either Red or Gem Panda. Um, would either of you please, for the benefit of the listeners and subsequent les listeners, describe centripetal and centrifugal force? Okay, so anyway, they're two sides of the same coin. Uh, centrifugal force is the tendency of an object following a curved path to fly away from the center of curvature, when a centripetal force is a force that keeps an object move, moving along a uniform path around that point. Both of them okay. use the same equations. We just quoted two equations, which are the exact same equation, well, one equation, which is actually a a mirror image of itself, yeah, mm -hmm. um, for describing two demi forces because they're not actual forces, are they? Yeah, they're forces. Yeah, they're forces. Okay, so two different forces, different forces, at no, the same force. Oh, okay, so spinning away from something is exactly the same as being pulled towards it. It's an idea about rotation. No, no, no. Something being... It's all, it's, all about, it's all about what happens after the fact, after the force is applied. Mm -hmm. That's when you have the different... Because in centri centripetal force, you have an object staying in orbit. With centrifugal force, you have objects being flung away. So Both of those require staying... a spin and both of those require a spin of the same equation. And away is the opposite as towards, or are they now both the same thing? The only no. difference is the direction. Yeah, yeah, direction, correct. Yeah, so, so one is so away, yeah. away from the body it's orbiting, and the other is towards the body it's orbiting, is it not? Yeah, both, both of them re refer yeah. to rotation, correct. Yes, so the two equations describing the two different forces balance same out force. zero. Yeah, it balances out to zero, does it not? Balances out to zero? No. No, it, it no. Can. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, what does that now, even mean? Uh, you, you wouldn't understand because you uh, weren't taught it. You, you, hadn't, you, you weren't taught it, so you wouldn't understand. You can't expect that you're going to. Well, don't make that assumption. Don't make oh, that assumption. Well, you're just asking what it means. If you've been taught it, you wouldn't be asking. No, so, well, I'm asking now, what you mean by it. No, it's got a, 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 a straightforward meaning. You can look it up afterwards, but now, here's the thing. <laughs> We're talking about a centrifugal versus centripetal force, which is basically describing the orbit of the planets around the sun, or whatever is orbiting whatever else. Correct? Being in orbit or getting flung out of orbit. Both so, of which still require an orbit. So, it's describing orbit, correct? Yep, either staying in orbit or getting flung out of orbit. No, no, no. You can't have uh, two different things being the same thing. Uh, those you two different said, things are two, said, di are two different you, results. That's why they have two different names. You just said that centripetal and uh, centrifugal are the same. Now you're saying that the two things are not the same. The so events, the that, same happen, the events the that happen as a result of those equations. Things don't happen as a result of an equation. Oh, really? Things happen as a result of an equation? Things get described by equations, and then we can figure out what happened. Yes, the equation is after the fact, really. It's just a way of describing the event. Now, my question, my scientific question for you and Jem Panda, is this. The body that's being orbited, okay? So let's say the sun, and let's say the thing doing the orbiting, let's call that the earth, okay? Is the sun static in space? Relative to what? The center to of the, the Milky Way galaxy? Is it static? The, 
The sun is static in our solar system. No, yeah. it isn't. Yeah, so if you're, if you're keeping static. it... Okay, so it's not confined to our solar system. No, no. I asked, is the sun static? Relative to what? You understand what the word static means, don't you? It and means you not moving. you know what moving. the word relative means? Yes, I do. Okay. okay, then why don't you answer the question? Relative to what? No, 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 no. Static means not moving. Relative to what? What the fuck relative to what? Is the sun I'll just answer the moving? question. Relative to the Earth. Relative, relative, relative to the Earth. No, 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 no. Forget it. This is a, a little rabbit hole. Okay, okay. relativity yeah. is a bunch of bullshit. God. Let's well, talk play in not... English. Is static... Something that's not moving. Is that what static means? Static can be something that's not moving relative to something. Your steering wheel, your steering wheel is static to you, but to the hitchhiker when you oh, drive it by, it wow. is moving. There's always a, a point of view from which it is not static. As long as there is a point of view that can see it as not static, that's all that matters. You're trying to bring in relativity to get out of a simple question. Is the sun moving or is it not moving? It's not moving within its own solar system. That it's moving relative. Do you oh, don't, you then don't what the fuck the do you question. mean? How am I supposed to figure this moving, shit out? not moving? Jeremy, do are, you know? Are, are, you, are you talking about relative moving? to the center well, of the galaxy? I do understand the distinction that he's making and, and what he's saying. I don't understand the distinction that he's making. Is the sun moving or not moving. Again, are you trying to create this sort of gotcha question? Let it's him not give a, a gotcha full... question. Yes, it is. Let him give no, a full... No, it isn't. You keep yes, thinking it it's a gotcha question. Yes, it it's is. a simple question. Yes, it is. Because and you keep thinking know. it's a gotcha question, so you keep looking for a way out. If you were educated on it, then you should be able to tell me. Do you mean static as in static within the solar system and we're only paying attention to the solar system itself? Or do you mean relative to the center of the Milky Way, which is external to our solar system? Exactly. Which one are you pointing to? You're, you're asking relative to what? Okay, and you would like to, me to answer relative to uh, the solar system or the galaxy. No, relative to space. That's where movement happens. So is the sun moving relative to space? And what point in space? <laughs> what, what's wrong with you? How can you yeah, not I should ask question? you that same question. How can you not answer this question? Can you you answer, answer it? So difficult to answer. Can I'm you trying... answer it? Okay, so you want me to answer something in which I don't know the actual question. You don't know whether or not the sun is moving through space. I know. Mm -hmm. Someone else answer the question. You don't want to answer the question because you think it's a gotcha question. Uh, I'm going to have a look to see what people are saying in chat, just to see whether they understand what movement through space means. I've yeah, asked answer the question properly. You're saying, can you ask the question in a way that we can answer it? Just give him both answers. The question has a simple answer. The answer mm -hmm. is yes. Okay? So, so yeah, I've answered, answered my own question. I have answered my own question, which you wanted me to do. Is the sun moving through space? According to orbital mechanics, yes, it is. Apparently, neither you nor Jeremy had the intelligence to understand that simple question that a five-year-old could have answered. No, what you were doing was you were trying to sequester the question and put it in a tiny little box, okay? So you asked relative to what? Then you gave two options of what I could say it was relative to. You could say whatever you want. I did. I said relative to space, the sun. We're talking specifically about the sun and whether or not it is moving through space. There are objects in space that it moves relative to, but there's, if you're talking about within wait, the wait, solar wait, system, it doesn't move in space. You, your brain has not processed what's being asked. Space We're doesn't have about, grids. Space doesn't talk, have a grid pattern that you can figure out What are you talking about motion. grids for? What are you talking about grids that don't exist for? Okay, I said, this question is regarding centrifugal and centripetal force. Now for this, we're going to be talking about the sun and the earth. Okay, now, is the sun moving through space? The no. answer is yes. The answer is no. The answer is no. 
Thank you. I can pull this down too, can't I, guys? You can, absolutely. Right, so rest, rest, three. The sun is not moving through space. Jeremy, do you want to chip in? Well, I wanted you to finish ask the rest of that question because it okay. seemed like you were building up to something. I was, I where, was. Where were you going from there? This is where I was going. So, centrifugal and centripetal, okay, around the point, yeah? I'm yeah. describing a point. If anybody wants to look, you don't have to. Now, if you move the point that it's orbiting around, yes, you've changed the force, haven't you? No. No, you haven't? No. Uh, sorry, Red, you don't count. You can't answer anymore because you think the sun is not traveling through space. You know that it's going to be hard for you to go to sleep having answered that the sun does not travel through space. Do you want to arrive at a conclusion? Or I will make it concise. If the body, if the body <laughs> is itself moving, and that moving has an arc to it, the effect centripetal versus centrifugal will change depending on where that orbiting body is relative to the body that's being orbited. So it's not uh, constant. Why don't you demonstrate it? by spinning something. If the, if the idea and the concept of moving is going from point A to point B, that doesn't happen. And Antonio, that's the called you getting a move. move through point A to point B. You're ratifying what you said earlier, which is that the sun does not move from point A to point B. 